Continuing from the previous discussion, one can say that excluding ethics from corporate governance is like riding a car on a highway in the thick of the night without headlamps. You will have poor visibility and will be relying on your luck to not to crash into something. Similarly, without ethics, corporate governance is reduced to an exercise of form filling and box ticking. In the overall scheme of running a corporation, the need to adhere to corporate governance standards is only a subset to the overall responsibility of the corporation to behave ethically. That leads us to the question of how an ethical corporation behaves. A corporation's ethical culture begins with, as the phrase goes, the tone at the top. I repeat, the tone at the top. It is the responsibility of the CEO and the board of directors to set the example. Here, I wish to quote in Sanskrit from the scriptures. Na sa sabha yatra na santi vriddhaha vriddhanate ena vadhanti dharmam Sabha here means an assembly of people who advise the rulers. Vridha means whole people and in this context we can interpret as people who have gained wisdom from their experience. I repeat the quote in Sanskrit. Na sa sabha yatra na santi vriddhaha vriddhanate ena vadhanti dharmam What it would mean in this context is it is not an assembly if there are no wise people in it and they cannot be called as wise if they don't speak dharma. The idea that we wish to express here is if the board and the top management are the wise people in the corporation then they have a responsibility to behave as per dharma. In other words, do what is right for all the stakeholders. Therefore, it is important for the corporations to ensure that the board and management does not deteriorate to being a cozy club or friends of the boss who just meet to rubber stamp his or her decisions. And if that is the case, then they are nothing more than honorary colonels who look grand in their uniform in a parade but useless in battle. In recent times, the concept of the tone at the top has been revised to tone of the organization which is intended to describe the collective impact of the tone at the top, tone in the middle, and tone at the bottom. And it is a collective duty to adhere to acceptable standards of risk management, compliance, and responsible business behavior. But we need to keep in mind that those acceptable standards are primarily driven from the top. While tone at the top is important, and provides a vital foundation, the reality is that when leaders communicate the organization's vision and commitment to appropriate ethical behavior, what really drives behavior is what the employees see and hear every day from their managers whom they watch when he or she is making business decisions. That then leads to the question of how business decisions are to be made.